आयहु हर रस कर्मी पाई सतगुर मिलाई जिस आए द एसेंस नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड हिज लव इज ऑप्टेन्ड बाय गुड लक गुड डीड्स वेन द ट्रू गुरु द ट्रू मास्टर मीट्स एंड टेल्स यू टू रिसाइड द नेम ऑफ गॉड प्रणाम आचार्य जी कैन यू प्लीज हेल्प मी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डज लक मीन एंड वॉट रोल इट हैज इन आर लाइफ अगेन फ्रॉम अभिलाष अभिलाष द यूज ऑफ द वर्ड लक मेयरली मीन्स समथिंग दैट इज बियॉन्ड द यूजल कॉज एंड इफेक्ट चेन when you do something and you get something as a result of your doing you do not call it luck do you then you claim ownership and therefore there is ego the ego loves the cause effect paradigm the ego says the effort is preceded by a cause so if i can cause something to happen i'll get the desired result i can cause the effect says the ego luck or grace or as some people may want to call it randomness lie outside the cause effect framework therefore the word has been used here the ego will not get it using its doership that which a thing brings cannot be a, of a quality dimensionally superior to the thing itself please understand this the effect cannot be dimensionally beyond the cause which is to say that the fruit of the action cannot be dimensionally superior to the action which is to say that the fruit of the action is actually just the quality of the actor the result is dimensionally the same as the action and the action is dimensionally the same as the actor therefore the result is in the same dimension as the actor but the ego does not want to believe that the ego wants to rather believe that all the possible dimensions are contained in its one little dimension so it keeps hoping its entire little life that it will be able to obtain something of the beyond while just remaining itself it feels that it can remain continue to remain in its own lowly dimension and yet through its actions and cleverness and manipulation obtain something of the beyond that's the false hope of the ego but the ego does not see it as false the ego says i can remain earthly but through my clever tricks i can attain the sky the ego does not want to leave the earth it is scared and attached but it also has a longing for the sky it is stuck so yes i would remain on earth but i'll devise a trick whereby i can also have the sky that is not going to happen now you see why the word luck is used your actions your cleverness your plans your manipulations will all fail in getting the desired result because that which you truly desire is beyond you whereas your actions 
and your plans and thoughts would always be just like you. Are you getting it? You want to get him through your actions, but your actions are just like you. And what is it that you want? A beyondness from yourself. You want to go beyond yourself, being yourself. That won't happen. How does it happen then? Who knows? Let's call it luck. It's very difficult for the ego to submit to this statement. How does it really happen? Neither do I know, nor can I ever know. It is not merely unknown, it is unknowable. The ego does not want to accept that. So it continues with its blind efforts, gets tired and expires. And expiry does not mean liberation. For the ego, the expiry merely means rebirth. Rebirth not in the sense of assuming another body. Rebirth in the sense of just coming back as another type of ego. Ego in another name. Old wine <coughs> in new bottle. That's what rebirth is all about. Rebirth is not about the Atma being in a new bottle. People often say that this is the ghat, the bottle. And the Atma moves from bottle to bottle. No. The Atma doesn't move from anywhere to anywhere. It is a chal. It is unmovable. Rebirth is that rotten old wine in an apparently new bottle. And then another cycle of effortfulness starts. The ego again says, I will cause the effect. What is the effect that it wants? Liberation. What is the effect that it wants? God. But how does it want to have that effect? It doesn't want to surrender to that effect. It wants to cause that effect. In other words, the ego wants to cause God. Whereas God is the one who is utterly uncaused, unborn. The ego in wanting to attain liberation is in a sense wanting to give birth to God. If you can cause something, you are its father, aren't you? If the ego can cause liberation, then the ego becomes the father of liberation. Such is the ego of ego. <laughs> Such is, so deep is the egoistic darkness. It wants to cause liberation. It wants to cause godliness. Can it be caused? No, it just happens and therefore it is referred to as luck. luck. 